because the video with this kind of transmitters and receivers it is analog so in this case it is just ordinary video as you can see this monitor Uh, shows also the picture when it is noisy. It's something different with a lot of small or modern monitors. In this case you see the same video but when it starts to get noisy you get a blue screen with the message no signal. So that's not very handy for amateur television. Therefore a circuit is added and when I switch it on you see that it is a lousy picture but if we make it noisy you still see the picture when, you, when we make it noisy And this is the circuit I will show now. This is the whole circuit. There are two switches on it. Now it is switched off. And the video is directly going from this plug to that plug. Now it is switched on. And you can tune with the pot meter to synchronize the picture and like this it is automatic and what do we see when we open it this is just some mechanical thing to attach the monitor to it you can slide over it but this is the electronics it's a PCB. The only thing that this circuit does is add some sync and in that case the blue screen uh, is already uh, disappeared and then add the video to it. Here we have the video in and the video goes via a small amplifier to some uh, clamping circuit and some resistors to level it and going out that's the video part and then you see here some switches and there's those switches are operated by a sync generator and it's an integrated circuit the SAA 1101P or T the T one is, is the SMD version and here we have a sync separator and it could be an LM1881 but Better is to make it with discrete components like uh, three transistors, like I will show in the schematic. So the video goes via this circuit with video, so it will show the noise, and in this case, it will uh, separate the sync. And with the sync, you synchronize the sync generator, and that sync generator make the blinking pulse and the sync pulse, and it switch here the video, the noise. And you have here video out noise with sync. And if the block schematic is understood, you recognize here the individual parts. Here you have the video amplifier with the clamping circuits and here the switches. These are made with FETs. 
and uh, it is controlled by this sync generator integrated circuit and this is the sync separator to separate the video signals to have this synchronized and you can also uh, do this with potentiometer if you add a potentiometer here uh, you can have a higher range than uh, waiting till this circuit controls it to be sure that you don't lose the color information but most of the time that's not so important you have here a parallel LC that it does not clamp your color signal that's the whole circuit not all components can be get very easy but uh, when you look on the internet you can find uh, something and otherwise if you understand the schematic you can maybe find a substitution for the complete part of it a last comment when you use a such monitor it is now switched off and I have my handheld on the 2 meter band and when I switch it on you hear immediately that it transmits and it should not transmit, the monitor should not transmit but when you switch over the band you see a lot of carriers and I already put some shielding in it and I used some ferret but it still transmits so that's something to keep in mind that if you use such a kind of monitor maybe you should first uh, test it with your handheld or at least keep some distance and you try to have some uh, talk back on the, in the 2 meter band ok hopefully you like this video and uh, next time likely about the cameras that can be used for analog TV see you